Good morning, everyone. Today is Scraps to Embellishment Day. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, The 30 Days of Sketches, go over and check that out. Um, but today we are doing harvest time and we're supposed to do something that you might harvest and you're supposed to put it in a bucket, a barrel, or a wagon. Well, I didn't have any of those, so I thought, I'm just going to make a crate. And so um, I had some scraps, and so I'm using these. And I also had a rubber stamp that's from Stampin' Up. Here's the set. It's called Farm Fresh Set of Four Stampin' Up. It's from 2003, and it looks like this has melons, peaches, corn, and apples. And then it has, what's this one say? Fragile and fresh. And so I'm using the apple, of course, and the little fresh. And I know the apples look kind of big, <laughs> but I'm using this school Timu die. It had books, the apple, um, I think you had to buy the, um, the bus separate and I bought that too. So um, I'm get, I'm using those apples and just because that's what I had. Okay so now um, I want to make the I started out actually with excuse me um, I tried stamping this with black soot. I did not like that. So I tried Ground Espresso, and I'm doing it on this parchment. I used to do my cards in that, and I love the Ground Espresso on that, because to me, it looks like when you actually go and see one. So um, I'm going to be using that, and I'm also using that on my crate, So I want it darker than what it is. I tried the walnut stain but I really really loved this it looked like I've got a crepe and I also got a it's actually a piece of a crepe and it says like what does it say fresh produce on it or something I'm not sure what it says on it but um, actually it's in my pantry <laughs> but I had used it um, I actually stenciled on the back of that and used it for my signage when I did craft shows. So, let's see, that's, I really like the color but like that, so I think I'm gonna go just a little bit darker, because that's really what I was looking for. And it never fails, you know, you think you have everything and then you don't have quite enough <laughs> of whatever it is and you got to go find another. My red, I actually just went, I had a pack, I think I must have bought a pack of red because I had like a few in this red color. So, okay, and um, this, just in case you decide you want to make a crate, I did two and a half by four and I, I tr kept cutting different sizes until I came up with this one that I liked. Okay, now um, the sign or the label that they put on the box, lots of times they're pretty rough looking. Actually, this doesn't look as rough as usually what they look like. So I'm gonna take and tear this one edge. And Kind of rough it up a little bit, kind of make it roll, make it roll, <laughs> and kind of make it look a little rough. Okay, and then um, I will curl up a couple of the corners, and I'm also going to go around that with the black soot, but I'm not going to hit every corner or every spot. I'm just going to get it here and there, 
I mean, I'm using parchment, so it already looks a little bit aged. I know the one that, um, it's actually in my living room right now. <laughs> um, the one that we had that had the label on it, the label was slowly disintegrating. <laughs> but I really, it made me feel sad that it came off. But it was just so old, it couldn't hold it. Okay, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Well, yep, I want it older. I want it older. <laughs> Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I want the torn edge to look a little older. Okay. And then um, I did use red to color the apples. Because when you see them, they, they have some color on them. Um, Ginger was watching me the other day and she said, you're coloring again. <laughs> so when I was, when I was doing this, I'm thinking, okay, Ginger's going to be going, you're coloring again. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Um, she's got those tri-blend markers, but I've got so many markers, I just can't buy them until I use these ones up and. So, I don't know. I kind of like the colored pencils because it's like if they're not just right, I can, I can use another color over it. You know, sometimes a marker, it's like it's, you know, it's kind of, it's almost like it's set in stone then, you know. Okay, so now this wasn't quite the color that I wanted. So, I did take the red and I'm going to try my, my little finger dauber. <laughs> you know, um, I had that one that I was like hoarding it forever. And it ended up, um, you know, disintegrating. Okay, so I'm just going to go over that a little bit more to really make them bright red so they look more like my apples. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I th like the two colors together, I think it really sets it off. And then, let's see, I've got pine green and regular green. And I actually started out with the regular green and then just on part of the leaf I put the pine green so it's got just a little more color. I'm not going to color anything else because when you see them they don't have a lot of color on them. Well from my experience. So I'm just going to color those two areas because they're probably you know stamped or whatever and so they maybe only have like you know a three color stamp or something when they stamp them so I figure that's enough okay Okay, so I'm just doing all the inking first. So everybody gets three apples. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go around it. No, not with that. Be too dark. I'm gonna go around a little bit of it. Maybe not everyone, because I, I want. I don't want them to look so different. I mean, I don't want them to look so much alike. So sometimes I'm, I'm just taking a little bit of brown on there. I mean, it's the walnut stain. Just to give a little bit of different definition to each one. Because, you know, they're like snowflakes. There's no two alike. Well, not on my tree. They might look... They might look like they all look alike at the store, but mine have holes in them from the birds pecking them. <laughs> but they are super good apples. I know we always take some to church, and they're, they're always like, oh my gosh, those are the best apples we ever ate. 
I don't care that I had to spend five minutes washing it and getting the bird holes off of it. We, we take the best ones. The, um, you know, the horses ate the other ones. Now, one thing about when you rub this over it, if you don't go real hard, it makes almost like a streak. And I think that looks so much like an apple. But I'm going to not do the whole thing. And I'm trying to do a little more on, you know, one side than the other. Trying to make them so that they all look a little bit different. And sometimes I can't get that little streak. I think I only got one little streak on there. But then I got, you know, one side looked really dark. And that's how I like to see them because that way it looks more natural. And I like that little brown on the bottom because, I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't remember my grandma's apples being as dark as what ours get, but I think it's because they spray the skies with something and it gets on the apples because it's just weird how sometimes they look so, you know, they look so dirty. <laughs> But the day's good and once you get all that stuff cleaned off them. And we don't put any pesticides on them at all. So that's like everything that comes up gets an opportunity to eat it. <laughs> um, last year, we didn't get any apples. The squirrels, between the squirrels and whatever else got in them, they were completely gone. <laughs> I think we got a couple that were on the ground, and that was it. Like the day that they were ready, there was none left. Because, you know, there's like that peak time. There's like two weeks where they're perfect. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more up here. I do like them, to, you know, look like Snow White would want to eat it. <laughs> Okay, I think that looks pretty good. They look enough different. I'm going to do this here. Okay. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. Okay. And aren't you glad I'm only doing one for the video? <laughs> and then I need three of these leaves. And three stems. And then three of these little half leaves. Okay, and I need to get this off. I'll tell you, I'm a, a color, colorful mess by the time I'm done. Okay, we got the green. Where's my green? Oh, I'm on the green. <laughs> I thought I was picking up the green. <laughs> okay. Hubby went back to work today. He was off for a week. So, yesterday, I'll tell you, I worked... I'm so hard for that guy. <laughs> and then I had to do my stuff too. It's like, so funny. Because then he's like, he's trying to go to the post office. So it's like, you can't go yet. I have to mail out my yellow brick road and um, what else did I try? My cards, I need to get them. He's like, well, why don't you have them ready? <laughs> I was just about ready to punch him. <laughs> and then he's like, I'm just gonna go. And he walked out the door, and it's like, I guess I'll just do it tomorrow. He came back. I was, he goes, I was only kidding. <laughs> He's got to watch it because you just know, never know if I might just think, oh my gosh, I've just had enough. I got to punch him in the nose. <laughs> I don't. It's like living with one of the Three Stooges. Somebody else got one of those husbands. And then he tells me he's only weird because I'm weird. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done with the leaves. And then these um, stems, I want them to be brown. And I'll tell you, that's that was pretty hard. Because it was hard to get them brown. Okay, let me see if I can 
work some ink onto them. And I don't know, one side does seem a little skinnier than the other, so I'm going with that. And this, the dye, it cuts out the, the leaves and the stem. Otherwise, I'd probably cut the stem out in brown just so I wouldn't have to color it. Okay, so I'm just getting that done. It looks pretty good. I tried the walnut stain the first time and that didn't do it quite as brown as what I wanted it. Okay, I think that's pretty good there. Okay, I think I have all my pieces. Got my tweezers. I got my glue. Okay, and I'm just putting like a um, right at the top I'm gonna make like a like a half a circle just because that way I've got a glue for everything and then I'm gonna put a leaf and I'm trying not to make them all exactly the same. So the next one I'll put the leaves on differently. So there's one. And even though I know if you went and bought a Creative Apples all the leaves won't be sticking up, but you know since I made them all <laughs> I want them all to have leaves sticking up. I like the looks of it. Oh, and I, I'll tell you, when you have nail polish on, it kind of protects your nails from the ink a little more. But So now I'm going to have <laughs> colored nails. Oh, and when you do, when you actually like um, can the apples, and you're cutting them up, the one hand, it gets so colored from the apples. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I could put little holes in them and that way they'd look like ours. <laughs> but we must have had so many birds in the trees. We didn't have any, we didn't have any um, worms at all. So that was good. I know one year we had, we had bag worms, what they're called, and it was like um, we got those out of there, but the husband burnt a little bit of the tree getting them out, and it was like, oh, don't do that again. So the next time we had them, we did take the bag, we were able to get them pretty early. It's like I had seen them from the house, so we got those off, and I'm going to stick that down just a little bit. Got those off and protected the apples, but they're disgusting. I don't like to encounter them. Okay, so then I actually took, no, my darker side, I do want to it down. I actually took the tape and did this right across the top because I wanted to like I want like those little streaky sides to show so I think I'm gonna put this one here and maybe and I want one a little taller or up a little higher but I still need to get them in my my envelope I think that looks pretty good like that I'm still in the screen there the war drums are always my phone getting a text. I 
Okay. And if, but if you hear um, machine gun, that is the military. <laughs> They're, they've been at it for a while today. There was one time when they did it all night long. I just remember hearing them in my dreams. And then I did, you know, in my dream, I was thinking, oh, it's okay, it's just the military. <laughs> it's funny, I'm trying to get it more centered. Oh, I just heard the machine gun again. Okay. So then I kind of curl, curl this up a little bit and two of the corners and then I need my little fresh label and I didn't know where to put it I didn't want to cover up the apples I figure I spent all that time on them I don't want to cover them up so I decided to put them put it right here I'm just thinking where would they just slap it you know because they would be in a hurry because it wouldn't matter where it was at just that it was on there And they'll all be just a little bit different. And then we put my lid on. Then I'm gonna use the white highlighter. And I'm thinking, okay, they would get light here. So I'm gonna hit it like this. I'm always saying hit it like with ink and stuff. I don't know why. I'm going to tap it and dot it. <laughs> That's more for like what I'm really doing. So I'm trying to get it in similar places. And I notice that it kind of dissipates or disappears or whatever. And so I do go over it twice usually. Now this one I think really looks like a good one. So that's it. Everybody will get one of those in my swap group. And um, I will put a link down below that has everybody's name that is actually in the swap. I will have the names down below of the people that are making embellishments, whether they swap or not. And then um, also there will be a link for anybody who's doing YouTube videos that if you just want to go right over to that and watch everybody who made them. So um, there, you know, it's basically you can go and see them individually or you can go over and see them all. So thank you for joining me. I will have close-ups at the end and I will see you tomorrow. Remember to go watch my 30 days of sketches video and... I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.